Hey, brother, welcome to the Have It All Marriage for the Have It All Life podcast, where your marriage has a 100% chance of success if you do it God's way. And that's really what we're here to talk about today, is how to do it God's way. And today I want to talk about specifically when your wife asks you for space. Now, thank God, my wife never asked me for space. So years ago, when I started coaching men, and they were telling me frequently that their wife was asking them for space, I didn't know what that meant. So I went and I asked my wife, and without batting an eye, she said, the girl code translation is stop begging me to love a weak man. Whoa. Let that wash over you, brothers. Stop begging me to love a weak man. So if your wife is asking you for space, she sees you as weak, and she sees you as begging for her love, for her attention, for her attraction, and for her affection. And that's one of the fastest ways to shut all of those things off, to send her packing, running away from what I term the mama's boy. You see, in other of my trainings, I speak often of the three personalities that we can present to our wife. There's the monster, there's the mama's boy, and there's the man. So if you're being asked for space, she sees you as the mama's boy. She sees you as weak. Now, this is not of God. Remember, I said that you have a 100% chance of success in your marriage if you do your marriage God's way. God calls us to be strong. It's all over the Bible. It's when talking about the armor of God. And so, as a husband, we are called to be strong for our wife in the same way that Jesus was and is strong for us. So, let's talk about, you know, what did Jesus have to do? Well, we know that his flesh did not want to face the cross. He knew what was coming, and it was so upsetting and so disturbing that as he was praying for God to take the cup away from him, he was literally sweating blood. And yet, he was strong enough to face it. And because he did, look at the wonderful miracle and the gift that he has given us. And so we're called to give that same wonderful miracle and gift to our wife by being anywhere near as strong as Jesus. Look, we're never going to be as strong as God, but we can become stronger. We can be stronger versions of ourselves if we're willing to do the reps and the sets. And so what your wife is looking for, she is looking for a man who is strong enough to make her feel safe. And when he's strong enough to make her feel safe, she is not asking that man for space. But when she is constantly having to be the one who gives you the safe feeling, who quells your fear, who quells your negative emotions, and your scarcity, and your doubt, and your indecision, that's not how God wired her to be attracted. It's not how he wired her to be attached. It's not how he wired her to be aroused. It's the opposite of those things. So what does she want? She wants you to get away from her because she knows that those behaviors are destroying her feelings for you. And she's hoping by asking for space that you will calm down and you will stop this behavior and you will stop pushing her away with these weaknesses. So brother, how do we fix this? Well, what we've got to do is we've got to become a stronger version of ourselves. So if you think of yourself, and I want you to mentally take out a sheet of paper and turn it landscape sideways, and in the bottom left-hand corner, I want you to draw a little stick figure, and that's your current level of strength. And in the top upper right-hand corner, I want you to draw a larger stick figure, and that is the man who you need to be in order to, A, have her stop asking you for space, and B, attract her, attach her, make her feel bonded to you and aroused by you. And so then the path that you have to take from this pit of weakness to this peak of strength is that you must every day become a stronger version of yourself. And how do you become a stronger version of yourself? Well, there are only four areas that matter. It's your body, it's your being, it's your balance, and it's your business. So let's break it down. Inside the conversation of body, you don't have to look like the rock. You don't have to have 10% body fat. You don't have to do anything other than be in as good a shape as when you met her or a better and have a, pan, a plan and a path and a program in place to get healthier, to get more fit, little by little, day by day, making daily deposits into that plan. So it's about how you're exercising. It's about how you're eating. It's about your doctor's appointments. It's about the things that you are doing. And if you will do these things with an eye towards getting better and getting stronger on a daily basis, these things are going to be noticed. She's going to see you being consistent with the promises that you have made yourself. This little fact alone will begin to rebuild trust. 
And now in the conversation of being, we're talking about your relationship with God, we're talking about your relationship with yourself, and we're talking about the, the tiny invisible umbilical cord that connects you to God, 24 by 7 by 365, and strengthening all of these things. And again, as she sees these things happening, she will begin to rebuild respect. She will begin to rebuild attraction. By the way, as you are more confident in your body, as you are more confident in your knowledge of yourself and your self-control and your emotional well-being, and those things are getting better, and you're better able to hear the Holy Spirit, and you're better able to have conversations with the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit can give you guidance and counsel, you're naturally acting better. You're acting stronger. You're acting in a way that is more attractive. And so now we get into the conversation of balance, which is your relationships, your marriage, your relationships with your children. If you're getting stronger in those, if you're studying these videos, if you're hitting every channel that I am putting out this free content, and you are getting better and stronger as a godly man, and better in the conversation of marriage, better able to hear her, better able to see her, better able to cherish her, better able to make her feel loved, make her feel safe, provide a safe space for her to, to speak her truth, provide a, sp a safe space for her to tell you what she needs from you in a way that does not make you look weak, well, then what's going to happen is she's going to be more attached, she's going to be more attracted, she's going to be more bonded, and she's going to be more aroused. As you continue this and you get better at your relationships with your children, you're more valuable to her as a father, you're more valuable to her in the home. And now let's move over to the conversation of business, which is going to be your financial well-being. Look, I, I deal mostly with entrepreneurs, highly successful men, high-achieving men. Most of them, money is not a big problem in their life. If money is a problem in their life, it's what to do with it or how to pay the taxes. And yet, if you are not careful, you're going to squander it, you're going to lose it, and she is not going to feel safe. So, no matter who you are, you need to always be looking for ways to make more money. Always be looking for ways to legally keep more of the money that you're making. Always be looking for ways to grow and invest that money. Always looking for ways to protect that money. And always looking for ways to safely transfer that money to your wife and children, God forbid something happens to you, so that she can feel safe. Or to transfer that money to your children after your wife and you are gone, so that your children don't have to scrape and scratch. Look, this is the, this is the epitome of strength. This is the warrior method. This is the warrior mentality. This is the warrior mindset. And that's why it is so important for you to make daily deposits into these four domains every day. When you are doing these things consistently, you will not look weak and needy to your wife. She will not be asking you for space. Okay, so where are you today? She's asked you for space. You know how to fix it long term. What are you going to do in the short term? What you're going to do in the short term is you are not going to be begging her. You are not going to be pleading with her. You are not going to be threatening her. You are not going to be following her around and, and yelling through closed and locked doors. You're not going to be blowing up her phone with texts. All of these behaviors are going to get you divorced. What you're going to do is you're going to sit back. You're going to take a breath and you're going to let God be God. You're going to commune with the Holy Spirit. You're going to ask the Holy Spirit for strength. You're going to spend time in God's word and you're going to gain strength from that. Now look for the guys who are in our programs. We have some Lamborghini with afterburner rocket-fueled tools. Those tools are going to help you in this space, help you cut through the chatter of why you have been weak, why you have been needy, why you have been hurting. Absent those tools, I'm going to tell you to go out and search and look on the internet and find ways to understand yourself better. Because what you're going to see is that you have a pattern of habits, and these habits are making you look needy and weak. You've got to find a way to break the patterns break the patterns. But what I want to do is I want to encourage you, brother, because when you break those patterns, all the reasons that she fell in love with you come flooding back into her heart, mind, soul, and body. All of the feelings that she had for you before, they come back, even if she said, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Break these patterns and look strong without looking angry or mean. This is another thing. You've got to figure out ways to present your strength without looking angry or mean. And when you're able to do that, then she's going to find that attractive. So, here you sit. She's asked for space. What are your marching orders? Sit back. Take a breath. Let God be God. Pray that the Holy Spirit gives you guidance and direction. Look inside His Word. Do your level best to uncover the stories and the ideas and the problems that are running around inside your conscious and subconscious that are causing you to act weak like that. And let that stuff go. Find ways to let it go. Find ways to turn it around. Find ways to change the story. Because this is an inside-out change. This is where I talk about 59 60 of so the interactions you're having with her come from the energy that you're pushing into those interactions. 
This is an energy conversation that is driving an outward conversation. This is an emotional conversation that is driving physical actions. Your physical actions are just the tip of the iceberg. You, you, can, you can stop texting her. You can stop blowing up her phone. You can stop yelling through doors. You can stop following her around. But if you have the energy of a man who wants to do that, you're not going to solve this problem. So go in, go deep, figure it out, or figure out where these behaviors are coming from. Now, look, if you want help with this, what I want you to do is go to www.realmanrevolution.com. www.realmanrevolution.com. Fill out an application. We don't talk to every man. We only talk to the men we believe we can help. If you are accepted for a free phone consultation, then you'll speak to one of my alumni, a man who sat exactly where you sit and has achieved a happy and blissful marriage with the very woman who is threatening to divorce him. You'll talk about how you're going to put this in place, what the strategies are, what the tools look like, what the brotherhood looks like. And if we believe you're a fit, we will make you an invitation to join our brotherhood. So go to www.realmanrevolution.com and I'll see you on the other side.